Good afternoon guys. Uh, we're out here in Clovis, California today. We're on a concrete tile roof and we're just going to talk real briefly about the solar panels and the issue with the pigeons that are going on here. Um, as you can see there's quite a bit of solar installed on this roof. Now when it was installed they did uh, take some measures to abate the pigeons and keep them from underneath. They have the skirting around the panels. The problem is, is the skirting is a little bit loose in a few locations. There's areas at the corners where it's just too loose. Um, pigeons are pretty persistent and they're going to find a way in there if there is any possible way. As you can see, what that adds up to is a lot of droppings on the roof. Um, there's two different places where there's actual nest under these solar panels and it provides them a safe place, some shelter, and they love to build nest under there. So if they get up under there, um, it's very difficult to get them out. So in this case, a solar company would have to get involved to actually uh, remove the debris and the nesting materials from under the panels and re-secure uh, the mesh netting around the panels to prevent that from reoccurring. With the pigeon droppings and the debris, the nesting materials and everything that comes with it, one of the biggest problems it creates on a concrete tile roof is all of this stuff is going to flow downhill and it's going to end up in your flashings whether it be a vent flashing, a chimney flashing, or in this case a valley flashing, that debris builds up and it will block those flashings. So as we come down and around here, <clears throat> you're going to see um, this spot here where all the debris and the droppings have built up in this valley flashing. And we can come in and get a close-up of that. And this is where, you know, a bigger issue is created. It creates blockage. And so all the water that gathers in this valley metal and is meant to drain down to the rain gutter gets blocked by that debris and starts forcing its way under the tiles and that will very quickly lead to an interior leak. It's going to deteriorate the underlayment and cause a leak. So what we're able to do for the situation for now is to open up these valleys, remove the tile like we did here but on both sides, clean all that debris out, replace any of the damaged underlayment if we find it and get it closed back up. And then hopefully the solar company will be able to resolve the issue with the panels themselves. So. Just something to be mindful of when you have solar on a concrete tile roof, especially a two-story roof. Uh, pigeons can uh, create an issue pretty quickly if it's not maintained properly. So uh, that's it today out here in Clovis. Thanks for joining us for this uh, quick overview of a roof repair, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.